Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the eve of KSI, or what was it? No. Rice Gum and Logan Paul. Remember that stuff? Or Jake Paul and Logan Paul, their little feud. We're on the eve of that for the Dead by Daylight community. Today, we're going to be talking about the ever continuing debate by True Talent and Scott Jund about the spirit counterplay. Now, it's so fascinating because uh, I, I noticed that Scott Jun made this video uh, on True Talent's Counterpoints live uh, a couple days ago, and it was really fascinating. I like I like to hear Scott Jun's uh, opinions. I think that both him and True Talent have a great understanding of what uh, they want Dead by Daylight to be and the kind of game uh, you, you know it needs to be in order to be balanced. And they both have really great points, but they're just kind of not understanding each other, and I'd like to provide my own input because there is a lot to talk about. Um, first off, I'll say that uh, Scott Jund is kind of the person to be more blunt about the game, uh, more logical in, in what uh, in what can survivors can or can't do and how powerful some killers are and aren't. Uh, he's very expressive about that and sometimes over-exaggerative, uh, which is something that True Talent states a lot. And then True Talent's more lenient he thinks about every possible outcome and that the smallest little things can have a trip up uh in the end he's very optimistic i wouldn't say optimistic but i don't know he's he's very particular on on uh how the game works and how the gameplay flows how many gens get done in a certain amount of time he's very held to those standards in everything he says well, Scott Jund is more based on the facts, True Talent's based on what he's actually seen. And, you know, both of those have some truth. Uh, they're just kind of butting heads for, for no reason. And, okay, you know what, I'd like to say this first. I'm not trying to uh, insist that this is some sort of drama or whatever. Both of them have made it super clear that this is just a debate to, you know, talk about spirit. And I understand that. I, I just think it's so funny. It's, it's the greatest thing ever. I love, I love this. So, don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm not saying that these guys are rivals or whatever. I just like to say my opinions. So, personally, I side with Scott Jun in this argument. He says that uh, there is practically no counterplay to spirit. Uh, no matter what the survivor does in any circumstance, the spirit's always going to have the upper hand. While True Talent says that if you waste enough time for the spirit on the spirit side, if you just, you know, burn every pallet, it's a worthy sacrifice because. The game will be over by that point. And True Talent's also thinking of, like, the match needs to be even playing field, right? Best survivors versus the best killer. You know, that's the best way to determine the possible outcome. While Scott Jen's more like uh, looking at the facts and looking at actual game experience. This is kind of going back on what I just said. But based on the survivors Scott Jun gets frequently, not the overall, like the average, right? Scott Jun's thinking about the average survivors. And the average survivor isn't going to get four gen gens done in like two minutes. It's impossible. True Talent's thinking more of like, if this was the hardest match I ever played, how would they counter me? And how would I get countered, you know, as a spirit player? So that's what he's thinking of. In all of his debates, Scott Jun's just trying to say that the spirit always has the ball in her playing field, no matter what happens, because spirit's a very powerful killer. Uh, no matter what she does, she's always going to have the upper hand. So, the, the point in the video where True Talent's just kind of like, why is he talking about this? This is my point. He's just, he's just clarifying, right? He's saying that, yeah, your strategy's dumb, but this is why everything else also doesn't work, because spirit's just too good. So, personally, I side with Scott Jund. He's a little bit more level-headed, Granted, he's a bit more volatile and, you know, specific, but it, he's also very logical. I like I like his basis of what he bases everything off of. True Talent, I think, is extremely biased, and he just takes everything he's seen, and he just cranks it up to 11 as that expectation of survivor players. I'm not trying to say he's a salty killer, man. I think he's very uh, balanced as far as sides go. I think he has a great understanding of the game. I just think that his particular way of going about a debate uh, is uh, weaker than Scott Jun's. Scott Jun just needs to clear the air concerning Spirit. 
So uh, I guess I'll end this by saying that I hope that these spirit debates um, continue toward some sort of great new rework coming, headed by Scott Jenna True Talent, co-workers in disguise for uh, behavior. I think this is really good for the game. I think this is really fun. I'd love to see it keep going. Uh, but yeah, I'm just saying that I think True Talent's kind of not understanding Scott Jund and, and what he's going for. I, I mean, I, I might just be biased in saying that because I, I think Scott Jund has some great points and True Talent's just kind of ignoring them or putting them to the side or just not even fully understanding them, which I get that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to clear the air and put this video up because I don't know, wanted to talk about it, so... Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment what you guys think. And remember, stay gamer.